Every day, we all face challenges that no one else knows about. These aren't battles with the world around us, but with our own thoughts inside our heads. Marcus Aurelius, a leader from ancient Rome and a wise thinker, wrote in a book called Meditations that our lives are shaped by our thoughts. He believed that true strength and change begin not in famous places or big events, but in our everyday thoughts and actions. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about 10 powerful habits inspired by Marcus Aurelius's ideas. These aren't just tips for being more productive or healthy. They are deep practices that can solve most of your problems by changing the way you see and deal with the world. Whether life feels too hard right now or you just want to improve yourself smoothly, these habits will help you see things more clearly and take control, letting you live a purposeful and strong life. Stay with me as we dive into these habits that can change your daily struggles into victories and really make a difference in how you connect with everything around you. And as always, if you like what we're talking about, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you watch the whole video because just like Marcus Aurelius was different from others, you are unique too. Let's get started. Number one, control your hormones. Marcus Aurelius, a wise ancient leader, saw life's challenges as chances to grow stronger and more patient. In a similar way, managing our body's hormones is like practicing balance and control, key values in his teachings. Hormones are powerful substances that affect many aspects of our health, from our energy levels in the morning to how well we sleep at night. They influence our moods, hunger, and how we handle stress. Consider the thyroid gland, which is about the size of a coin and sits at the base of your neck. It controls your metabolism, which affects your energy and weight. There are also the adrenal glands above your kidneys, making hormones like cortisol that help your body deal with stress. When your hormones aren't balanced, it can feel like you're a small boat in a big storm, struggling with extreme tiredness, unexpected weight changes, or mood swings that make everyday life tough. To achieve balance, much like the stoic goal of staying calm emotionally, you need to take proactive steps towards a well-managed life. This includes getting enough good sleep to help control stress hormone levels, eating a balanced diet to give your glands the nutrients they need, and exercising regularly to improve insulin sensitivity and increase endorphins, which make you feel happier. Managing stress with mindfulness or meditation can also greatly improve your hormonal health. Simple practices like deep breathing, yoga, or walking in nature can lower too much cortisol production, helping you stay calm and focused, just like the stoic aim of keeping inner peace despite outside troubles. If these steps are hard and you're still facing symptoms of hormonal imbalance, remember that asking for help is a sign of strength. A healthcare provider can offer personalized advice and treatments to restore balance in your body. Just as Marcus Aurelius encouraged living in harmony and aligning with nature, we should aim for harmony in our bodies by carefully managing our hormonal health. Number two, rule your mind. Marcus Aurelius, a wise philosopher and Roman emperor, once said that our lives are shaped by our thoughts. This means if you want to control your life, you need to start with your mind. If you let stress and negative thoughts take over, they'll lead you into trouble. But how can you control something as tricky as your thoughts and feelings? The answer is through mindfulness and emotional intelligence, which are key parts of both modern psychology and ancient Stoic philosophy. Mindfulness is about staying present and noticing your thoughts and feelings without reacting right away. It teaches you to see your thoughts just as they are, only thoughts. They don't have to control what you do or how you feel. This ability can change how you handle problems, helping you face them calmly and clearly, just like a stoic sage would. Emotional intelligence takes it a step further. It's not just about knowing what you're feeling, it's also about managing those feelings well. Instead of letting anger or frustration take over, you learn to stop, think, and choose a better way to react. It means making sure your feelings line up with your values and goals, just like a Stoic tries to make their actions reflect their virtues. Using mindfulness and emotional intelligence helps you deal with life's challenges smoothly and steadily. When something stressful happens, 
you can respond thoughtfully instead of just reacting on impulse. This careful response follows the stoic idea of controlling how we react to things outside our control. Practicing these skills doesn't mean you'll never feel upset or stressed. That's not realistic. But it does mean you can get better at catching yourself when negative thoughts or stress start to take over. You can take a moment to breathe and remind yourself that you have the choice in how you react. You might even think about what Marcus Aurelius would do in your situation, using his wisdom as a guide through tough times. Let's commit to mastering our minds. It's a journey that requires patience and practice. But every moment of mindfulness and every act of emotional intelligence brings us closer to controlling ourselves, just like the Stoics aim to do. And by mastering ourselves, we find more peace, resilience, and a better quality of life. Number three, making money is important. When we talk about making money, it's not just about getting rich, but about finding stability, which is something even the Stoic philosophers thought was important for peace of mind. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor who had plenty of wealth, still believed in being self-sufficient. Having financial stability helps us lower stress, take care of ourselves and our loved ones, and live a life that matches our values without too much pressure. Learning to manage your money is like navigating a ship through stormy seas. The better your skills, the smoother your journey. This involves setting financial goals and understanding the basics of budgeting, saving, and investing. Knowing how to handle your money gives you the confidence to make smart choices and brings a valuable sense of independence. It's not just about the amount of money you make, but how you use it to build a secure and sustainable future. Stoicism teaches us to be aware of our desires and to focus on what we can control. Problems with money often come from unchecked desires and habits that divert us from our financial plans. By using stoic discipline in our money habits, we can avoid impulsive buys and aim for long-term objectives. This could mean saving some of your income for unexpected expenses, investing in your future through education or retirement plans, or learning to tell apart what you want from what you really need. Getting good at managing your money opens up more freedom in your life. This freedom doesn't come from the money itself, but from not having to worry about finances. You can make decisions that are true to your deepest values and life goals without being held back by money issues. For example, financial security might let you switch to a job you love that might not pay as much at first, or it could allow you to take time off work to look after a family member without the fear of financial trouble. Effectively understanding and handling your finances is a key habit that leads to a more satisfying and less stressful life. It's all about making choices that meet your immediate needs and your long-term dreams. As the Stoics said, true freedom comes from within, and in today's world, knowing and disciplining your finances is crucial to achieving that freedom. Number four, everyday workout. Adding regular exercise to your daily routine is a powerful habit that reflects Stoic values. Remember the saying, a sound mind and a sound body. Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers believed in discipline and self-control, and regular workouts helped develop these traits. But it's not just about getting stronger or having more stamina. It's about building a tough mind and a healthy body that can handle whatever life throws at you. Exercise helps in many ways. Physically, it makes you stronger, improves your heart health, and boosts your immune system. But its benefits aren't just physical. When you work out, your body releases endorphins, the chemicals that make you feel good and reduce stress. These changes in your brain lead to a clearer and more positive outlook, helping you manage daily stress more calmly. Mentally, sticking to an exercise plan takes the kind of steady effort and commitment that stoicism praises. Every time you choose to exercise instead of taking it easy, you're practicing self-discipline. This habit builds mental toughness which helps you deal with life's challenges with stoic calmness and not get overwhelmed by what's happening around you. Consistency is crucial to get the most out of exercising. Whether it's running every day, doing yoga, or working out at home, what matters most is showing up for yourself regularly. Making exercise a fixed part of your day means you're constantly investing in your physical and mental health. It's not about pushing yourself to the extreme all the time, 
but finding a way to include physical activity that is sustainable and enjoyable. Regular workouts can also be a time for meditation in motion, a chance to connect with your body and tune out the day's chaos. During exercise, you can reflect, plan, or just focus on the moment, which aligns well with Stoic teachings about being aware and managing your thoughts and emotions. Making exercise a daily habit does more than just improve your fitness. It enhances your overall well-being and builds the mental strength to live by Stoic principles. As you strengthen your body, you also strengthen your mind, preparing yourself to handle anything with power and peace. Number 5. Take it one step at a time. The Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius, believed in focusing on the present moment and dealing with what you can control. They didn't worry about future problems or uncertainties. When you break a big task into smaller, manageable parts, you're using this stoic idea in your daily life. Big projects can seem scary and make you want to procrastinate, but when you divide the project into smaller tasks, each step becomes a mini goal. This makes the overall task less scary and more doable. Completing each small step gives you a sense of progress and accomplishment, which motivates you to keep going. This gradual approach helps prevent burnout because you get consistent, small rewards that keep you going. This aligns with the stoic focus on steady progress and personal growth. By focusing on one task at a time, you can give it your full attention. This not only improves the quality of your work, but also helps you stay present and reduces anxiety about the future. It's about doing what you can right now, instead of worrying about the whole journey. Celebrating small victories is also important. Each completed task is a step forward and a win. Recognizing these milestones is gratifying and boosts your confidence to tackle the next challenge. In stoic terms, this practice helps you feel grateful and content with the present. Progress, no matter how small, is still progress. Taking it one step at a time simplifies complex tasks just like the Stoics advocated for a simple and focused life. This approach teaches you to focus only on what is essential and within your power to do right now. It's not just a strategy for managing tasks, but a way to live a calm, productive, and meaningful life. By adopting this habit, you become better equipped to handle life's challenges, embodying the Stoic ideals of calmness and resilience in the face of difficulties. Number six. Eating habits of natural foods. Choosing to eat natural, nutrient-rich foods instead of processed ones is not only good for your body, but also helps you develop a disciplined mind, similar to what the Stoics believed. Stoic philosophers emphasized controlling your body and mind through careful, deliberate actions. By carefully choosing what you eat, you exercise control that benefits your physical and mental health Natural foods, which are minimally processed, are full of the nutrients your body needs to function well. They provide essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that processed foods often lack. These nutrients support important functions like hormone balance and brain health. Balanced hormones can lead to fewer mood swings and a better emotional state, helping you handle daily stress more easily. A diet that boosts brain function can improve your thinking problem-solving skills, memory, and concentration. Feeding your body with high-quality food is like taking good care of a high-performance car. Just as a well-maintained engine runs smoothly, a well-nourished body performs better in all areas of life. This is not only about physical health, but also about the mental advantages a nutrient-rich diet provides. You may find yourself better at handling complex tasks and stressful situations, Key aspects of living a stoic life, where endurance and staying calm under pressure are important. Eating natural foods also reflects the stoic value of living in harmony with nature. Stoics aim for a simple life aligned with natural laws, and eating whole, unprocessed foods is a natural choice. This mindful approach to eating helps you connect with the origins of your food and appreciate the nourishment it provides. Switching to a diet rich in natural foods is not just a lifestyle choice, but a philosophical commitment to improving your mental and physical health. It aligns with stoic principles by fostering discipline, enhancing self-control, and promoting a harmonious life in tune with nature. 
This way of eating encourages you to respect your body's needs, treat it with care, and build a strong foundation for a resilient and focused mind. Number seven, having a goal bigger than yourself. Having a goal that goes beyond personal achievement and aims to contribute to something greater is a key principle in Stoic philosophy. The Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius, emphasized living a life of virtue and purpose, serving the common good, and aligning with the universe's larger order. When you set a goal that is bigger than just your desires or achievements, you find a powerful source of motivation and meaning. This enriches your life and potentially the lives of others. Such a goal isn't just about making an impact. It's about creating a legacy, contributing, and realizing that we are all part of a broader human experience. Working towards something that benefits others, like community service advocating for social justice or contributing to science, fulfills a human duty to positively impact the world. This aligns with the stoic belief that all human beings belong to a single community, guided by mutual respect and support. Having a goal bigger than yourself can also combat feelings of insignificance. Individual pursuits can seem trivial in the grand scheme of life, but dedicating yourself to a larger cause gives your life a greater sense of purpose. This can be incredibly motivating and drive you to achieve more than you thought possible. Engaging in selfless pursuits teaches humility and resilience. It means recognizing that the world doesn't revolve around your desires and that true fulfillment often comes from sacrifice and service. This is a stoic lesson in finding satisfaction in giving and contributing to something beyond yourself. Such goals encourage personal growth more than self-centered goals. They challenge you to grow, adapt, and develop virtues like patience, persistence, and empathy, key traits that Stoics strive to cultivate. By working towards a goal that benefits others, you embody these virtues, transforming your life and making a real difference in the world. Having a goal bigger than yourself is about focusing your efforts on something that extends beyond your personal sphere, creating ripples of positive impact. It's a fulfilling way to live, not just for yourself, but for others, which is the essence of a meaningful stoic life. This pursuit changes the world and changes you, making you a person of depth, virtue, and profound impact. Number eight, developing grit and resilience. This idea is at the heart of Stoic philosophy. Adversity isn't just something to endure, but a chance to strengthen your character and abilities. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius believe that every challenge is an opportunity to practice virtues like patience, courage, and endurance. By thinking this way, you turn negative experiences into valuable lessons that help you grow. Grit means having a strong spirit and perseverance that doesn't give up when faced with setbacks. It's about staying committed to your goals, even when things get tough or take longer than expected. This persistence helps you keep moving forward, even when progress is slow or difficult. Resilience is the ability to quickly recover from difficulties. It's about bouncing back or even becoming stronger after facing challenges. Together, grit and resilience help you not only survive challenges, but thrive during and after them. Seeing obstacles as opportunities requires a big change in how you think, which is very stoic. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? You learn to ask, what can this teach me? This change helps you stop feeling like a victim and start being an active learner, always growing and improving. This approach aligns with the stoic practice of turning obstacles into advantages. Marcus Aurelius often wrote that what stands in the way becomes the way. Embracing this perspective doesn't remove the pain or difficulty of challenges, but it gives them meaning and purpose. It also makes you feel more in control of your life's direction. Every challenge becomes a step toward greater wisdom and inner strength, like the stoic idea of the wise sage who gains peace through virtuous living. In practice, developing grit and resilience might mean staying on course, even when you feel like giving up, finding new solutions to tough problems, or simply getting up each day determined to face whatever comes with dignity and strength. This stoic mindset helps you not just cope with life, but master it. 
by developing grit and resilience, you prepare yourself to face life's trials and find value in them. You learn to see every difficulty as a chance to shape your character, making you a stronger, more virtuous person. This stoic view of resilience and perseverance not only enriches your life, but also inspires others who see your strength. Number nine, cutting down on pointless activities. In today's digital age, it's easy to waste hours on social media or endless online content. However, cutting down on these pointless activities can greatly boost your productivity and mental well-being. This idea aligns with Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes focusing on what truly matters and avoiding unnecessary distractions. Stoicism teaches us to use our time wisely, since it's one of the few things we can control. Marcus Aurelius urged us to be mindful of how we spend our days, reminding us that each moment is a chance to do good and live by our principles. By reducing time spent on activities that don't add value, we free up time for those that do. Start by setting limits on digital consumption. This could mean checking social media only at certain times or using apps that limit your time on specific websites. The goal isn't to eliminate digital platforms, they can be great for connection and learning, but to prevent them from taking over our lives. Instead, prioritize activities that enrich your life. Read books that stimulate your mind, engage in physical activities that strengthen your body, or spend quality time with loved ones. These activities provide deeper satisfaction and accomplishment than digital content. They help you enter a state of flow, where you're so engaged in a task that you lose track of time which is linked to higher happiness levels. Engaging more in the real world also fosters mindfulness and reduces anxiety, and depression often worsened by too much digital consumption. It encourages living in the present and appreciating life's richness, key components of stoic happiness. By cutting down on pointless activities and focusing on meaningful ones, you improve your productivity and align more closely with stoic ideals of purposeful living. This shift not only enhances your life, but can inspire others to rethink how they spend their time, leading to more thoughtful, deliberate living. Number 10, pursuing excellence. Pursuing excellence isn't about being better than others. It's about continually improving yourself. It's a journey of self-discovery, self-discipline, and self-mastery. In the Stoic sense, excellence means setting high standards for yourself and consistently working to meet them, regardless of outside pressures or distractions. It means aligning your actions with your deepest values and making choices that reflect your commitment to living a meaningful and ethical life. This can show in different ways, like dedication to your career and personal development, or the care you give to your relationships and health. Pursuing excellence is about passion and integrity. It's about finding what truly matters to you and dedicating yourself to it with all your heart. Whether it's your job, a hobby, or a cause you believe in, excellence requires sustained effort and a refusal to settle for mediocrity. Excellence also means a commitment to continual learning and growth. The Stoics believed that life was a never-ending classroom, always offering more to learn and room for improvement. Whether it's reading, seeking feedback, or reflecting on your experiences, Pursuing excellence requires an open mind and a willingness to be challenged. Remember, pursuing excellence is not about perfection. It's about the process of striving. It's about setting a course toward your highest potential and taking pride in the journey, not just the destination. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. In the Stoic view, each step is proof of your ability to influence the quality of your own life. By embracing this journey, you learn to overcome failures and setbacks, seeing them not as defeats, but as opportunities to learn and grow stronger. This resilience is key to maintaining your path toward excellence. It builds a strong inner life, resistant to the ups and downs of fortune and the opinions of others. Pursuing excellence is a personal endeavor that offers deep rewards. It enriches your life and the lives of those around you. It fosters a life of integrity and passion, where every day is lived to the fullest. This is the essence of a stoic life, marked not by what you have achieved, 
but by how you have lived. Thank you for joining us today at Resilient Wisdom. Remember the journey to self-improvement is ongoing, and each step you take builds a stronger, more resilient you. Embrace the lessons, live with passion, and strive for excellence in all you do. Don't forget to check out one of our suggested videos on the screen to continue your journey toward living a profound and meaningful life. Until next time, stay stoic and thrive.